Hey everybody, Mark with Mark's Home Hobbies. Yeah, what do you think of that? Little creation so far. Yeah, we're still mocking her up there a little bit, but yeah, it's looking pretty good. What do you think about that body? You know what that is on there? It's not paint. That's plastic dip. Yeah. <laughs> Looks pretty stunning, doesn't it? We're getting there anyways. Uh, still got some work to do. I gotta get the body just right on there and everything, but maybe a little bit more grinding and put some wheel wells on there. Fender flares, fender skirts, whatever you want to call them. And I got a wing on there too. It's pretty hard to see it. That's all rubberized and everything, but yeah, and I got to do the back tail lights and all that, but you can see. Yep, that's the wing right there. And this stuff, uh, this plastic dip, you got to have a really, really smooth surface too. This is, this is probably about three coats now, and the, the car's starting to, body's starting to get a little heavy. So I think we're gonna let this dry out fully and call it a day, and uh, just get the body mounts on there and everything, and. Uh, touch up the wheel wells there just make sure there's no uh, scrubbage and uh, I think we're gonna be ready to put that guy out on the track uh, that by the way is the uh, the mini Z version here is the other version right here I'm gonna give you this guy just to show you the comparison of what plastic dip will do this is only the uh, first two coats I have yet to have the third coat on it yet and it has no wheel wells or wheel skirts so you can see what the difference in the two cars looks like yeah yeah although uh, we could take this body off and uh, we could just as easily drop this one on there and uh, yeah that that's a pretty stellar performer on there too actually I mean it you know it, it will go on there pretty evenly too once I monkey around with it a little bit although uh, I got news for everybody uh, this monoshock design it's a really great design and everything but I think I'm gonna revisit this monoshock and uh, see if I can make it even better you think someone could make that even better if you looked at that idea and you said what could I do to that to make it even better so that my cars would work even better especially if my body hits on this mono shock right here what can I do hmm well I would have to tell you stay tuned for the next episode because you might just might find out what you can do to get that just right um, also while I got you here I put the two cars next to each other uh, you can see a pretty common theme going on there although this one here has a little gyro tray this is the rear wheel drive with the motor mounted high the K969 it has the metal uh, shock mount and the metal uh, bearing carriers axle carriers and it has the uh, metal shock in the front and it has a steering system on the front there and it's only two wheel drive uh, okay, I think I covered all that and uh, yeah, the low profile racing wheels same with this one. I bought two sets of them um, This one here is the k989 now you can see what the difference is the the speed control will mount up on here and then once I do my uh, a Modification to the receiver that I'm working on right now. I'm waiting for some parts to come so I can modify the receiver correctly uh, Then that will go right up here unlike this one where this one here has the center lifted servo and the center lifted motor and the battery in the original position basically and uh, I've switched things around on this side I went with the receiver back here and the speed control up here only to try to shift more weight back here it seems like these rear wheel drive cars need a little bit more weight in the back end gee who would have figured that eh uh, other than that everything is working really solid it's really really going good I'm just waiting for another part to finish uh, finish up on this car right here there's another part coming for it yet 
this one here is basically done. Uh, I just have some gyro work to do to it, and um, that's it. Uh, basically, it's done. And then the body. Uh, I'm just going to pop that body on some kind of mounts here and uh, see if we can get that sucker looking stellar there. I do like the way the uh, the four-wheel drive, the K989, I do like the way that sets better than with these metal, uh, these metal drive cups on there because uh, it brings the wheelbase out a little bit and it's very hard to find a body, much like this one right here. I can put this one on the K989 easy and then the wheels clear very easy on that one because it has stock arms and bearing carriers. Where this one here does not. This one here has the wider stuff and uh, you can see it's a little bit closer to the edge. So we needed the uh, fender flares for that. So that's what we're doing. But I think it looks pretty cool with that plastic dip on there although I don't know it's that stuff stinks and uh, probably not very environmentally friendly. Anyways, this is Mark with Mark's Home Hobby saying please like, subscribe, share. Help me get my subscriber count up to 200, please. That's what I'd really like to do. Actually, my goal is 1,000, but um, I don't want to come out and say 1,000. Jeez, I'm not going to get that many subscribers for probably the rest of my life. Who knows? Anyways, the only way uh, you can do anything with YouTube is to get a thousand subscribers. So if you know anybody else that's interested in these little cars, refer them over to my channel if you would, please. Thank you. Thank you in advance, actually, I should say. And uh, did I say you're a beautiful audience? Okay, I did now. Okay, this is Mark with Mark's Home Hobby saying it's time to eat. We'll see you in the next one.